Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Roger Skaka Sungura YouTube channel. And uh, today is Sunday. We had a successful rally in uh, Kamkunji. Though today I was not present myself, but I want to thank the team I sent for the perfect job they have done. Though we had some hitches, especially on sound, but then they have executed the project perfectly. And uh, there are a few things I want to point out from the meeting. We all of us can agree, Kwamba, Raila keeps on getting energy each and every meeting. Ukiangalia mikutana ambaya mefanya na mikutana wa leo, Today's meeting appeared to be more powerful than the other meetings he has done. So rally leo, it was um, in Kibra, Kamkunji grounds. Na ukiangalia the talk in that meeting, ukiangalia the energy in that forum, ukiangalia the zeal and the determination from the speakers, it should tell something to a serious politician who cares to really understand where Kenya is headed to. Na wa Kenya nataka niseme hili wazi. Mukumbuke vizuri nikiwaambia kwamba kuna tumkutano tumeanza ambazo tulikuwa tunaongozwa na gaucho the 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 the, the bunge la mwananchi ghetto president. It is started like a joke and I told you never despise those small gatherings. They have given birth into massive rallies across the nation. Now umesikia leo wametangaza kwamba they will be moving out of Nairobi next time. They are heading to uh, Ukambani. Wa Kenya there is one thing I want you to learn if you haven't discovered in each and every meeting Raila keeps elevating his audience Raila keeps elevating the speakers and those people ran away thinking Raila is politically dead from ODM they are now coming back those who have been watching from a distance they are now moving back wanarudi pole pole na kuna jambo nataka uangalie vizuri if you are very keen today you saw unusual dressing you know in politics you test the water as fast and see the reaction you test fast unajaribu to maji and you see the reaction leo kuna mambo ambayo nataka nikuonyeshe kisiasa na uelewe. Jambo la kwanza. Raila Odinga na Martha Karua Wachana tu na Raila Odinga. Martha Karua eh, akina uh, Baba Wino akina Elachi akina the former governor wa Oparanya wikel for Oparanya na wengine they had an unusual dressing kuna kofia walikuwa wamevaa if you saw that and niliangalia hiyo nikasema okay let me wait and see kidogo kidogo i saw a team of energetic young men who are in like in quotes military uniform with the kofia the same kofia that the leaders were wearing nikasikia hii timu inajiita jeshi la baba hold it right there hii kofia mtu wa kwanza kuonekana nayo in public alikuwa gaucho the ghetto president na nakumbuka nikiwaonya kuhusu hiyo kofia wale ambao mnapitia video zangu just go through my videos you will find one niliwambia ile kofia ghetto president alianza kuvalia 
it was a sign of something yet to be born. People took it for granted. Now, from Gaucho today, how many people were wearing your kofia? So many of them. It has been brought to the public. And today was an introduction to the public. Right? I'm a journalist. And in the class of photography, I was told, a photo speaks a thousand words. So, zile kofia muliona leo. They speak a thousand words to the Kenya Kwanza government. So leo ilikuwa kwamba they were just introducing. Though Baba did not officially bother to tell you why the kofia. Zenye zilikuwa zimevaliwa na almost every leader in the podium. And a number of youths dressed like Jeshi. Baba didn't bother to talk about it. I have only been bothered to explain to you where the Kenyan politics and the opposition are headed to. Now, the person who broke silence is this member of parliament, I've forgotten his name. When Ali Sema, Molinyanganya Uru Kenyatta security, but Musiporudisha to Tatuma Jeshi Letu, I think in Opio Wandani. Yes, yes, Opio Wandani, I think so. Alisema, kama mulinyanganya uhuru security, na kama hamuta rudisha, sisi kama jeshi la baba, tutatuma wana jeshi wetu, wanaitua movement for defense of democracy. Now listen, zile kofia uliona pale, I think there were purple, unajua I'm colorblind, men we don't know colors, but I can literally call them red. Yeah, they were okay, not red that, but I don't know they were they were purple, pink, or what maroon. Anyway. Those kofias they belong to a movement called Movement for Defense of Democracy. MDD. This is a movement that is being cooked behind the scenes, and today was an introduction to the public. Kwamba, we have this movement. You remember the National Resistance Movement? You remember in 20, was it in 2013? 2013, uh, there was something that uh, Elio Dewal was arrested for recruiting young people into an unregistered movement. So what am I saying? Siasa ya Kenya inapikwa. Now let me give you the chronology of events. Number one, elections imetangazwa. Baba mepeleka kesi kotini. Ruto ametangazwa kwa mshindi bado. Raila anarudi, anaenda chini ya maji from the public limelight. Then, Watu wamesema baba mekufa, eh, akina James Ongwae wakatoroka. Wanasiasa wengi wakatoroka baba wakasema huyu wamekuisha kisiasa. And one of the 14th laws of power says, a clever politician reinvents himself. So after baba disappearing from the public limelight, we saw him with the gaucho. Bunge la wanainji mashinani. That was the first appearance. Baba akaenda, aka utubia bunge la wananchi. Nika wambia kwamba hili bunge la wananchi hili, just wait and see. Bunge la wananchi likaanza pole pole, likaanza kugada, likaanza kugada, likaanza kugada. Na by then mutu walikuwa na hiyo kofia moja, nika ucha have told you. I'm just giving a chronology of events. Kutoka hapo, baba tena kapotea from the public limelight. Wakati baba alipotea, akatangaza mkutano mkubwa sana jakaranda. Before that meeting happened, Ruto came up with the formation of office of the official position leader. Baba akaitwa US. Na Joe Biden. 
baba aka, akasema mkutano wa Jakarana tumeahirisha kwa sababu ninaenda ngambo akaenda baba came back alipokuja the first meeting now the biggest first meeting rally ilifanyika kamukunji hiyo meeting baba was breathing a fire na haikuwa na viongozi wengi wala ambao walikuwa ODM azimio it didn't have those leaders some of them were just watching from the fence na hizi kofia ziko hapo they were nowhere to be seen in that meeting mkutano ukaisha baba katangaza mkutano wa jakaranda alipotangaza mkutano wa jakaranda The crowd that came into Jakarta was two times the crowd that was in Kamkunji. Na wale leaders ambao hawakuepo wakaanza sasa kuonekana wachache. Wakapewa nafasi wakazungumza bado hakukuwa na jeshi la baba. Lilikuwa linazungumzwa but bado halikuwa linaonekana mahali. Na hizo kofia ziko hapo. Baba kamaliza mkutano Eh, akaenda Nigeria akatangaza kwamba Jumapili ijayo tutakutana Kibra kamkunji Leo mkutano umefanyika mkubwa sana The crowd that was in Kamkunji Kibra is now three times the crowd that was in Jakaranda to see power gaining momentum gaining Now today wale viongozi ambao hawakukua jakaranda a number of them were seen today moving close to baba And then and in just a chronology of so that you understand where we are heading to Now number one, katika ile mkutano kofia zikakuwa introduced now something new has come kofia zimeletwa na kila kiongozi amevalia in the same meeting vijana wamekuja na uniform wanaitwa jeshi la baba batopia wandani is introducing the jeshi as the movement of the defense of democracy meaning the movement has been officially introduced to the public kwamba tuko na kikosi Mkutano umefanyika umeisha But there's one thing if you noticed Kuna huyu jamaa anajiita who was that Eh hey, jina imeenda jina imeenda Kajuang uh, Kajuang 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 Eh hey, Kajuang Kajuang Junior something like that Akasimama akasema Niko na Biblia Nataka nipatie baba saa hii saa hii saa hii Now the message was from Ada Karua Ruto must go. From Raila Ruto must go. From Wajakoya Ruto must go. From Kalozo Ruto must go. Right? Now the song is Ruto must go by all means possible. I don't know the means but then if you care to listen you can learn something. And let me now tell you now. The meeting that will be in your kambani ngojeni uniform ngojeni uniform yes wait for the uniform is becoming more messier than you thought kaka nazungumzia kwa nini mambo yote the message i'm conveying is kenya kwanza must begin to get worried god bless you asante sana